I'm super nervous now because that went so smooth that it kind of has to go bad now. Nothing can go wrong. Well, uh, that didn't go as planned. We're gonna hope that Casey can get us out. That's bad. What are you doing? I don't do this every day. It's not starting or what? <laughs> that thing's flipping for some reason right there. It shouldn't be doing that. Coming, coming back, just the angle was different and it, and it actually had water all the way up over the hood. Because I saw steam come up and then it stopped. I'm like, no. Yeah. It got a little water in her. Now let me take a moment to tell you about today's sponsor, Elite Fleet Automotive. No. Because Nate's going to fix all the stuff he broke on my Jeep. <laughs> so we're going to get a jet boat that uh, two weeks ago got caught in some shallow water, ran aground, and unfortunately at the time there was not enough water to get to it by another boat but too much water to get to it by land. So the water's been dropping rapidly in that lake over the last uh, two weeks since that happened. And now I think it's firm enough. We're gonna try getting out there with the track Jeep. We're gonna take the TJ as a backup just in case. I got Nate coming to drive the TJ. I got David coming to help film. So we're gonna get this thing loaded up and head out there and see what we're getting into. We got the TJ and the track Jeep and we're gonna Unload both of them. I think hook the trailer, boat trailer, to the back of the track jeep to get it out there to the boat. This one's going to go first. So if we find any soft spots, that one gets stuck because it's way easier to get unstuck than that one. Nate's on his way, and then we'll figure out what we're doing from there. this one? I don't know. You're which, gonna one go. which one do you love the least? <laughs> and this is where the LS swap starts. David, just make sure he doesn't hit that tree with the tail swing. I think I picked up high enough on the front. It's gonna Here is the water crossing we have to get across here. Wow, that's deeper than I thought it was. Okay, that's way deeper than I thought it was. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> Instead of going down to the next channel, I turned on the right one, and by the time I got up there, I went, oh, oh crap, I see this it. is the wrong channel. Yeah, there it is. It's a there. boat sitting where a truck should be. Yeah, well, it was all water when I went through there. It, yeah. was, it was 
about a foot of water and then it got real super shallow. So it's a jet boat, so there's nothing yeah. hanging down, so no. you didn't hurt the boat at all. No, just I let off the gas and shut it off. I knew I wasn't going to make it, so. And I probably could have if I would have just hammered it down. Yeah. You no, know, but that instant fear of like, oh crap, I'm too shallow. When in doubt, throttle out. Exactly, just like snowmobiling, so. So this was all water when you were out here yep. two weeks ago? Well, this wasn't. It, it was, it's been almost three weeks, been 18 days three now. Three weeks? Been 18 days. Now you're getting started. Could have had a nice boat. Now you're getting, uh, you might watch this, it might get this. There's a, all of a sudden it just goes real soft. Yep, like that right there. You're in it. Well, uh, that didn't go as planned. We're gonna hope that Casey can get us out. This is exactly why I wanted that one to go first, is it's the sacrificial one. If it gets stuck, this has a good chance of getting it out. If this setup got stuck, we're screwed. Oh yeah. I don't know why you brought your fattest friend to drive the sacrificial Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> I just filled the inside of his Jeep with mud. It was uh, wipey off there, buddy. Well, look, I reversed. That thing is there. I reversed. No, I can't blame it. Doesn't budge. Okay. Whoa. Right, yeah, we're gonna be barefoot by the end of this. to the boat. Now what? Yeah, so I dumb asses thinking we're going to be hand no. on this. No, you are going to drive <laughs> around and come right here. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm tracking with you. Now? Yeah, I, well, I, did, I never exclaimed it was the whole time. Okay, you drive around. Now I don't even feel bad about filling energy with mud. Get here. Make me feel like a bully. Soft shackle to this. Soft shackle. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to try it. Yeah, we're like this. 
I, I don't do this every day. Is this like what it's like when I come into your shop and exactly. start working on my stuff in your shop and you're like, what are you doing? Just get out of the way. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. I don't say that. Jordan and Gavin might. And Severin. They just walk in. I'm just like, oh, that's how you do that. I use the hammer too. <laughs> yeah. But well, he had the hammer out when he got here today too. He's like, oh yeah, we can do that. Oh yeah, I had to, my special tool. I'd use the hammer to unchain the Jeep earlier. So. Why? Because I went way too tight. Is that that new uh, shackle? That oblong one? Yeah, this is that new uh, winch ring. Where you just go through the center and then it can never fall out of the groove. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I gotta, get, gotta go over there and get with the income get ropes and buy some stuff. Comes it off the end. Yeah. I'm wondering. Just hook it to that bar on your side of your Jeep. Good. Ripped the whole body right off. <laughs> There's actually a, a D-ring on the Jeep right here we can use. There you go. Uh, go grab one more soft shackle. There might be one right here. There it is. Got it. Got it, Nate. I knew I welded these here for a reason. <clears throat> I didn't know what that reason was going to be, but I figured they'd come in handy sooner or later. Yeah, when I was out here, you could see water. It was we were sitting in water right here. But if you look out to those trees, there was water all the way out to those trees out there. You could there was just a straight path coming through here. The water went straight out to those bushes and turned out. Um, this one's not going to move. That one is. Let me slide this around to here. Shouldn't shouldn't that winch line be going around the ring, not through it? Not with the new one. Okay. That's the new fancy ring. It goes through it because then it can never fall out of the groove. Oh, I like that. Yeah, way better. Um. That Jeep doesn't have parking brakes. You have to be in it running with your foot on the brake. Copy. This across here. Okay, go ahead and start it up. I guess I didn't need to move that. It's moving though. Yeah. Yeah, we traded it with the other guys which a couple times. No, it'll, once it hits these, it's going to guide in place. Think just straight line That's it? I'm thinking just straight line it straight to the Jeep. Okay. Hey, question Nick. Is this hot? Cool. It says cold. <laughs> yeah, the first guy came out with his bags and he goes, What's well, it? It's uh on the ground, it's not even in the water anymore. I go, let's drop that much. I figured it did. So he got, took his anchor off, put it out there, trying to put his winch and drag it. I go, that that anchor's not gonna hold that four thousand pound boat. Drag it through. Okay, let me see the end of the line. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna come forward. Win win winch me to the boat. We do it with the hand crank so we get it centered. Okay, we're not gonna go far, but yeah, just to get it in in here. Well, let's see if it'll go over. Oh, there, damn it. You should drag it. What do you do a mechanic that can fix your parking brake? I know. Go. We'll do this and crank it down. 
I'm super nervous now because that went so smooth. It's, it kind of has to go bad now. If this would have fought us like crazy, I'd feel a lot better. Right? What? That went so smooth that I'm nervous. Nothing could go wrong. Oh, oh. Nope, that didn't hold. That was close. Well, that's just the ring. It was working too. Can we use this? Oh, there. Safe now, right? Okay. Find me a, the most solid path, because now those little tires have like a lot of weight and no flotation. You just tie that thing on there, you're just gonna let it fall off. Where'd you hook the winch up to? I broke it. You broke it? Dude. If you can't tie a knot, tie a lot. Right on there. It got a, I, I had to, I carried some speed through that little no, wet no, spot. No, no, not there. going through the wet spot. Getting onto this, can we get around the edge to the water? Because we're going to put this in the water. Oh. We're not towing this all the way back. I don't think I'd don't, make it. I don't think you can get to the water here. Right That's there where it's solid? It's, it's going to go from soup mess to water. Yeah. You're not going to be able to make it to the water. No. Let's see what happens. You can launch this thing on the boat. Do you think it's firm enough on the edge? There's no. It's super sandy yeah, it's on all, the edge. Yeah, all that sand. Like we can't oh, do okay. all over in that corner. It's all sand. Yeah. There. Let's go again. From here, it looks like following it around right there to over, like wrap it around right there. I drove my quad straight to that thing the other day and it seemed like it was solid, so. Are you coming? I'm gonna hop in. I'm gonna try to back up and follow that path out. If, if it's sinking me and I'm struggling, we'll hook the yankum rope up between the two and go together. Chain it, pull it. Yeah. That way we don't break in. You're hitting the stump? Now too? We threw this one off. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Shoot, 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 I mean. That's bad. This is fine. So the whole turning while you're not moving thing? 
Так. Так. Try the next. Let's we'll see how. Let's we'll see how the next five feet goes. Yeah. <laughs> wide, wide turns. Wide turns. out there you see eh? I don't think right I here. I see a little bit of a curly spot in the water right there. there. It looks like right here is fine. And I've heard this so I would launch it that like if it, if it goes go that way <laughs> so we would yeah, end that up. looks awful shallow right there even though I, I would bet all of that like is very shallow. In the water right here, this thing right probably there. what's this thing draft? Uh, well this is going to be your about eight inches. Eight inches. That's going to be the issue. Okay I'm going to back it up. Okay. motor started and try to drive it off. Oh, you're such a nice guy. That's a whole other level of customer service yeah. right there. I see what you're thinking. I wish Nate was here. Ain't happening, buddy. This just feels wrong. All of it. We should have hooked up the rope first. Yeah. Should we hook up the winch first? Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's, he said it. His funeral. Yeah. Not even funeral. I ain't even going there. Just your pants. Your boots. <laughs> What if? 
that motor running? So what, that skiff's not starting or what? <laughs> what about the boat? I'm worried it's all plugged up the grade from dragging through the mud. We could try to pull it out on the trailer. It'll blow water under the boat, but... I don't know, I, I don't know how that works, if it... Yeah, it's just got a scoop on the, no the nozzle on the back with the just blow water. It'll blow past that grade. Gotcha. It's just grass packed to the back side of it. That's not too bad, then, is it? No, the, the, all the front's open. Okay. It's just packed to the back from dragging. It was just packed right up against here. Yeah. Probably what we just did. It was cut turf out there. Dragging it up on the, uh, on the trailer. Oh, I didn't mean you for you to get you in the I would have done that. You're a fucking nice guy, Mr. Liddell. Yeah, it's just shoved up against the back of it is all. It's not all the way through it, which is good. Honda. Yeah, it was going in reverse and it just went click. Now it won't go in reverse. So you had it running. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, it started. I thought we were going to get somewhere there for a second. So it, it won't go into gear? Oh, well, yeah. yeah. So it starts, it just won't go into gear. Oh, I couldn't get it start now either, but I only pulled up here four times, so. Oh. Pretty well cleared out this leftover shit. What did it go into reverse gear? No, it's not going into reverse, so I wonder if we had to go down to that point. That thing's flipping for some reason right there. It shouldn't be doing that when you go backwards. There's locking forward. It should slide back. This really screws up our plan of driving the boat back. Well, I'm thinking, Casey, if we go down there, maybe it's a little deeper, too. Deeper, quicker? And then I can just run the big motor over there if I have to. Okay. If I have to, as in this thing's going to take a pure, uh, pure turn in the other direction and start working. <laughs> Get in your home. I was thinking about buying a boat. No, I'm not. That's out the window. If you don't put them on shore, they're kind of fun. <laughs> Bust out another thousand. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> there we go. About another grand. Bueno. Okay. So do you want to try to get in right here? Or I think we have to go, go down to that point down there. Think off the point? I think it's probably deeper there. I don't okay. know. But all right over there. This is the softest of it, is getting into it. Don't pull it there and back in.
die now. I was just thinking that. That'd be way worse. Yeah. I was about to say something. I'm like, hey, Casey, maybe you should wait until you get the boat running before you shake it off the trailer. And they're like, yeah. get stuck again. Tracks have been screaming for water this whole oh time. Oh god, yeah. Yeah. You know, since I got these ones brand new, I never even once adjusted the tension all, all, since, never once, not even out of the box. And then all winter long, I never tightened them up. So I'm not surprised that I threw a track while like- Pre-stretched. Yeah, I'm not surprised that I threw a track like turning in ruts in mud where they're not yeah. supposed to be. I think you even hit a stump with it. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what, yeah. That's probably what rolled off to start with. Started that whole disaster as I ran into the stuff. You know what happened too? You were like, this is going so smooth. No, I said this is going way too smooth. How how could we make this more awesome? Yeah. <laughs> All for the YouTube drama. <laughs> Video, and now I got the two of you in one video 
So this better be a two million view video. Yeah. All right, you take yeah, my pants you off. From recovery in the snow to stuff in the road to hey, let's go out to the lake to get a boat that's stuck in the ground out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, up to the truck. Yep. That's one for the books, huh, Case? It is for sure. But you know, it went a lot smoother than I thought it was after watching those guys yesterday pulling that thing, pull on, pull on. I thought that oh, got to be a bit. It went a lot smoother than I thought it would too after watching all the things I've done. So. <laughs> it's because I came. Yeah. Well, who's the only one got stuck though? Yeah. Exploring. That's a very good point. Yeah. Thanks for being the sacrificial yeah, one. You're, you're welcome. He was the sacrificial lamb for the boat recovery. Get that Chevy over here. Yep. This is another one of those ones where like by, when we get all done and over with, it's like, did it really just pull that off? Man, coming back across that water, I thought I killed her. Yeah. I know, I was like, when I saw it, because I saw steam come up and then it stopped, I'm like, no. Yeah. It, it, it got a little water in her. Could have drove that down. At least there was the mechanic who did it. Yeah. And that little this video down. started with, and here's how Casey's Jeep got an LS. <laughs> you got it in that dip? Yeah, that thing. coming coming back, just the angle was different, and it and it actually had water all the way up over the hood. It, it felt deeper coming back. Yeah, well, you were I think it's just the you, angle. You were off to the right a little bit more because there's really slopes know. down just a hair there. That's where that's where uh, that check guy was out here trying to help me. Got, he waited out there. He goes, "Whoa, it's deep right here." And then all of a sudden, the check engine light didn't come on, so I figured it was fine. Now let me take a moment to tell you about today's sponsor, Elite Fleet Automotive. No. Because Nate's going to fix all the stuff he broke on my Jeep. <laughs> I don't work on muddy Jeeps. Even put, if I was the one that got them muddy. I'll put it back in the water. <laughs> Done. Purpose. Now I finally Love found it. that message again. I was looking for it because like I get 30, 40 messages a day because my phone number is public since I own a tow company. Right. But I have the YouTube thing with fans wanting to message me about shit that has nothing to do with that, that job. Show, yeah. <laughs> and then stuff like yours, that's actually a job, just gets lost it's in it. It's shuffled in it. And, in it and yeah, and, and like, I'll go back to try to find a voicemail or the text message something, and it's like, a couple hundred or thousand yes, or I, I have not found the way around that problem yet. Of like, it's a tow company that needs to be able to take calls and have the number public, but yep. I also need to like get the job well, calls yeah. in if it. If you so, are not a spammer, yeah. press one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're calling me because of YouTube, press one. I think he. <laughs> and it goes to if you're calling me with an actual problem, press two. Yeah. I think you can hire somebody just to, that sits at a phone and answers phones rather than yeah. stuff. Yeah. We might have to do something like that. I don't know that. how much they charge if it's even yeah. worth it, but that's a no, it's right. deep. It's not worth it. Like. Thank you. Nate, nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah, good to meet you. Take care. Appreciate the help. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Casey, thank you very much. Keep her out. Keep her out. Of course. Yep. Keep, keep her out of the shallows, yeah. right? Let's go to some deep.